Do you have plans to go to the beach, the lake, the pool, and you just want a barely there makeup look? You don't want like the heavy, heavy look, but you also don't want to look like you just rolled out of bed. <laughs> so I'm going to show you and walk you through a barely there makeup look that is perfect for summer or anytime you're around water and you just want to look more put together, but not have a full face of makeup on. So what you need for this look is you need some sunscreen. This is a great one by Supergoop. Um, you need some mascara. You need Demi correctors to help you get your skin looking nice and even. And you need a bronzer, illuminator, and a lip and cheek, along with a few makeup brushes that are going to help you get the look that you want. So first things first, you need to start by putting some sunscreen on. I already applied my sunscreen. Let it soak into your face for a good five minutes before you apply the rest of your makeup. Your makeup will just go on better if you let it soak and absorb into your skin first. The second thing you wanna do is you're going to take your fluffy bronzer brush and your cream bronzer, and you're just gonna apply a light layer all over your face. This is just gonna help even out your skin tone and help you not have to wear a ton of makeup. Bronzer goes, it's a little bit that goes a long way. So just a light layer of bronzer, do as much or as little as you want. If you wanna look more like a Greek goddess, you know, like you have been out sun tanning, you can apply more, but just do a, a light layer all over your face to add a little bit of color and then also to just minimize some of that discoloration that you have on your face. Maybe you have some broken capillaries. Maybe you have some hyperpigmentation, some melasma. Um, you have some dark circles. You know, we all have imperfect skin and that's normal. But cream bronzer will help minimize those imperfections and give you a little bit more color and even skin tone. So just apply as much or as little as you want. So just go over your face until you get the desired desired look. And cream bronzer is great because it does just melt into your face, giving you a nice natural appearance. So it doesn't give you that added texture. It doesn't make it look like you're wearing makeup. Really melts into your face as a second skin. So if you want a light layer, you can use the fluffy end. If you want a little bit of a darker layer, you can use um, the more dense end and just stipple it on. So there's a little tip for you. So as soon as you get your desired look of bronzer, then we're gonna move on into the next step, which is pretty cool, I don't know, magic? <laughs> magic show we're about to do, okay? So bronzer is on your face. Now you have a little bit more even skin tone, okay? Next, we're gonna go into Demi Correctors. Demi Correctors are basically using color science to even out your skin tone. So all of our faces have different tones and distractions on them. We might have dark circles, we might have broken capillaries, we might have, you know, the melasma, the age spots, all the things. And so using Demi Correctors, color science to conceal your target areas is really going to help you get that no makeup makeup look because you are getting rid of the distractions without having to wear tons of makeup so on my face since i'm going to go for a very barely there makeup look i just want to help conceal my dark circles all of us have something that we don't like on our face and so find the thing on your face you feel like is the most distracting the thing that makes it look like you are not wearing makeup, and that's what we're gonna focus on, okay? So I'm gonna focus on my dark circles. Obviously, I have a lot of colors in here. I'm not gonna use all of them. When I'm focusing on my dark circles, I only need to use three colors. I use this Y01, I use O3, and I use O1. So I'm just using those three colors to target the kind of bluish purple of my under eyes that I want to conceal. So I'm just gonna use a tiny, tiny bit of makeup. Right here on the inner part of my eyelid is where I have a lot of bluish purple. And so I, I put a bunch right there, right in that kind of tear duct area. I apply that first and then I flip the brush over 
and then I just fan it out and blend it so that it doesn't look like I have a ton of product. It's like melting into my face because it is kind of a creamy appearance and texture. So there I have just gone rid of that darkness right there. Then I'm going to um, switch to O3 and I'm just going to apply it right here where I am the darkest and I just a little bit, a little goes a long way. If you don't want to have that creasing, you don't want to have that heavy makeup appearance, you just apply just a little bit and then take that brush and blend it out. Kind of pat it into your skin, blend it out. And then if you feel like you have any other uh, like kind of discoloration, just add where you need it. I'm doing a little bit underneath my eyes. I have a lot of like pinkish, reddish, violety undertones. So I'm taking that and applying right there. And then it's really cool. Like I feel like after a few minutes on my face, it just melts in and becomes one with my skin. And it looks, literally it doesn't look like I'm wearing any makeup. So I'm just, just applying a tiny bit of product. And now I have a much more youthful, bright, awake look. Just got rid of my, my dark circles. Pretty cool. So now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side really quickly. If dark circles are something that you battle with, then you are going to want this in your life. Just a little tiny bit of product right on those darkest areas, blend it in and dark circles be gone. So I'm going to take that 03, put it right here, just on the areas where it's just darkest. When you really get up and close and personal in the mirror and you see really where the dark colors are coming from, instead of just like putting a ton of product all underneath your eye, if you just, just focus on those really dark spots, then everything else just disappears. So you're gonna look at right here, I have a blue vein that likes to pop through. And I'm already looking more alive and awake, getting that barely there makeup look. If you were to see me up close and personal, you wouldn't see that I have any makeup texture, but you don't see my dark circles anymore. All right, I just kind of poked my eye, so <laughs> it's watering a little bit. But there you have a little bit more even skin tone. If you feel like you want a little bit more, you can take a little bit bigger brush and just lightly, tiny, tiny amount. Brush kind of on a, a larger surface of skin. But such a small amount will go a long way. So now, my dark circles are gone. I'm looking more alive and more awake. Okay, so now we've done bronzer, we've done demi correctors, depending on where on your face you want to conceal. And then we're gonna go in with Illuminator. Illuminator will give you a nice Greek goddess glow. It's a nice shimmer. And so I'm gonna put that right here on the top of my cheekbones for a pretty shimmer when the light or the sun hits that part of my face, it's just gonna glow. It's gonna look like I woke up like this. <laughs> we did, I didn't though. I'm gonna put a little bit right here on the bow of my lip. Put as much or as little as you want. You can even do it on the, the bridge of your nose if you want to. And it also works as eyeshadow. If you wanna do a little bit of shimmer on your, eye, on your eyelid, you can add as little or as much as you want. It's just a really nice, natural addition to your face. Not doesn't add a whole lot of color, it just adds nice shimmer and glow. Now I'm gonna take that lip color and I'm gonna pat that on my lips. Key, the key here is using a more subtle and natural color to give you that barely there makeup look. And if you wanted to, you could also use this as a cheek color. So if you want a little bit, add a little bit of rosiness to your cheeks, this lip color doubles as 
cheek color. Again, as, as much or as little as you want, depending on your desired look you wanna go for. Now, the last thing we gotta do is we gotta give ourselves some eyelashes because I feel like when you have your eyelashes done, you are <laughs> way more put together. So apply some mascara to those lashes. I love this Thrive Mascara because it's not waterproof, but it's pretty dang tough around water because it's a tubular mascara and so it won't come off look, making you look like a raccoon. It will, it will come off um, in kind of rubber-like chunks. So it works really well if you're gonna be sweating or you're gonna be around water, you're gonna be lounging at the beach or the pool it will last really well for you. So apply a light layer of mascara. To finish that look off. And there you have a barely there makeup look that is perfect for the beach, the pool, the lake, or just those days that you want to look put together, but you don't want to look like you have a full face of makeup. So use those tools and those products and techniques to get that barely there makeup look and you're going to look beautiful. People are going to think that you woke up like that, but it's just your my little secret. <laughs>